So uh, w you were talking about engagement earlier. Uh, let's talk about you, n your new engagement. Uh, I heard you um, join forces with Glenn Greenwald and some Speaking of superheroes. Superheroes. Yeah. Uh, Tell us about that project. Yeah, I mean, this is really exciting. Um, it's the first time I've actually talked about it in an interview. Um, uh, Glenn Greenwald, uh, who is, of course, this journalist who was up until very recently working for The Guardian and uh, was, was the main journalist doing stories based on Edward Snowden's documents from the NSA, and Laura Poitras, who actually lives here in Germany. She lives in Berlin, uh, who's a great filmmaker and journalist. Uh, you know, She and Glenn were working on this story together, and the three of us, Uh, have been discussing starting our own website or news organization for some time, and like a um, blog or something. Uh, no, not a blog. A uh, YouTube like, channel. Like a more not a YouTube channel. Like a serious investigative journalism site. Uh, you know, we're, we all of us work with different media outlets, but we were trying to think of a place where we could, uh, you know, do more quick response journalism to put things out in more detail to try to democratize the process by which we reveal some of the, the revelations from the NSA and from other reporting that we're doing. So we were in the sort of early stages of discussing that project when uh, uh, the founder of eBay uh, got in touch with Glenn and, uh, and told us that uh, he uh, had been thinking about starting a media organization and wanted to know if we were interested in uh, contributing to it. He had no idea we were having these discussions. And we started having meetings and, and emails, and we decided that we would all work together on a joint project to do this. So, um, you know, the, uh, Pierre Odemeyer, from the, who's the founder of eBay, uh, has, uh, has stepped in uh, in a huge way and asked us to work with him on this. So, you know, we're not, we're, he's not hiring us. We're not employees. This is something we're doing as a collaborative project. And uh, we're going to be bringing on board some really exciting young journalists and also some veteran journalists to work with us. And... You know, it's it's still in its, you know, word of it got leaked. We all deal in the world of leaks. <laughs> Someone leaked that we were doing this. I have no idea who it was. We're, you know, I'm not happy about it, but I don't have the power to prosecute them like Obama does. I was going to say that. Right. I'm going to go after that. I'm going to hunt them down and smoke them out and uh, pull some George Bush. No. Um, anyway, so once it was out there, then we, you know, we were sort of in a position where we had to kind of tell people where it was at. But it's still, you know, we're still in the strategic stage of it and figuring out. But I think it's going to be extremely exciting. And um, I think we're going we're to be producing some really hard hitting journalism. But, I mean, the, the, there must be must be a reason why you guys get together. I mean, how do you want to do it differently? Like, uh, w what's wrong with journalism today? Uh, w yeah. What do you do want to do? What do you, you do want to do differently? A lot of a lot of media. I mean, one of the reasons why we're really excited about working with Pierre is that he said that he didn't want to have a top-down model of editorial process where editors are telling reporters right. what to do. So we're going to develop more of a of a horizontal model where editors are supporting the work of the journalists, but that the, that it's going to be a journalism-driven website where. Uh, we're not we're not just h trying to fill positions with people. We're trying to bring people on board based on uh, a proven track record of great journalism and trying to create a space for them <coughs> where they can do that journalism without being hindered by bureaucratic institutions or processes. Sounds like uh, Schlaraffenland w uh, w in Germany, we would say. Um, it's like the paradise. Uh, well, <laughs> like, like it, it is well, like I mean, a like journalist like paradise. You don't have a boss where, where you have to ask them uh, <laughs> if you if you can write the story or can write the story this way. Right. I mean, it's like uh, well, to quote that old CIA torture, you know, we got to put on the big boy pants. And uh, no, but uh, no, but it is like everybody's going to be expected to do their thing. Um, and you know, we we want to work with people whose whose respect is already there. It's proven. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and want to create a space where they can do their work. And yes, it is like a journalist paradise. I mean, you know, we're not naive. There will be there will be challenges. It'll be difficult when you're dealing with a model where no one is exactly the boss. You have to work out how that's going to happen. But we're trying to we're trying to create teams of people who already have shown a proven track record of being able to do serious journalism and to do it with on their own initiative. So what, what happens if, if uh, one of you guys if you get in trouble uh, if you Uh, if if it's proven that you fucked up something, uh, like can the others throw you out? Well, or, or kick, kick your ass. Up? Right. I mean, we have a we have a policy where uh, we're you know we're we're going to elect Glenn is going to be uh, the interior minister Glenn Greenwald, and uh, he's going to have a secret intelligence service that's going to be investigating me and Laura and uh, no. <laughs> No, 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 we'll work it out. I don't, I don't want to get too much into the details about this before, before we get it, but... Maybe there, are, there aren't any details? Uh, I mean, I'd have to kill you if I told you that, so... Yeah. Can, can you tell me the name of the thing? No, 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 no. It hasn't been announced yet. But it doesn't, it doesn't translate into Schmutzi Krieg or whatever. So it's not going to be a German, German thing? It, it doesn't have a German name? Can you confirm that? I don't, I don't want to rule out that oh. it's not going to be a, a German name. As I told you, the, the, in, in the Ger my understanding of the German language is that there's an incredible volume of very specific terms. Yeah. 
So let's just say that maybe, maybe we're just, we're considering some German names. Uh, do you consider like any European journalists, uh, German journalists, like uh, what kind of journalism we will we, will we see? Like uh, just uh, um, reading or well, look. Uh, I mean, there's I mean, magazine stuff like video, audio. Well, I mean, Laura Poitras, uh, who you know is 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 a founding partner in this venture, um, uh, has already been teaming up with Der Spiegel and, and German journalists to report on the NSA story. So I think you're going to see we are going to build alliances with uh, journalists and media organizations around the world. Um, that's part of the, the the theory behind this is that we are going to we're going to partner with other good journalists. Sometimes we'll bring them on to want work full time with us. Other times we'll come to agreements to collaborate on projects. I mean we're. We're not looking to try to like uh, you know knock other journalism outlets out of business or try to uh, you know uh, undermine their investigative journalism. We ultimately want this to be a public service. So, you know, we're going to be looking for partnerships uh, around the world and journalists to work with who do investigative reporting. I remember WikiLeaks uh, saying we, we do a public service. Like, is this a new form of uh, WikiLeaks? Because WikiLeaks consider themselves uh, journalism as well. Well, I mean, I, I think I think what WikiLeaks did was incredible. It's extraordinary, um, you know, and 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 that I mean, it started a ball in motion that has just picked up momentum, um, and uh, you know, I think a big big part of journalism going forward is going to be finding sources of, of independent information, including from whistleblowers and people who want to leak documents that they think um, are in the public interest to have access to, and we're going to continue to to do that. So, um, are you going to quit your old job? Do you, have, do you have an old job, uh, or are you just uh, a writer? Well, you know, I've never, I've never had like a I, I, my, you know, I work with the Nation magazine. I work with Democracy Now. I'll continue to work with those organizations, but I, I'm not anyone's employee, so I have the freedom, freedom to do what I want. So, you, will you ever be someone's uh, employee at, at some point? You're hiring? Not at all. Can I, can I be like your uh, Syria correspondent for this show? You, you would have to speak German. Uh, I know sprechen Sie Deutsch. <laughs> No, I'm not going to comment on my on my personal employment status. This got leaked yesterday, but I got woken up by a reporter calling me at 3 a.m. the other day asking me about my new venture with Glenn Greenwald. I'm like, how, what, what are you talking about? I was like, how did I know? I just, you know, now I know. I guess what Obama felt like when uh, Snowden leaked all those. Stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I just had a minor leak in my life. Wait a minute. I mean, it it is something of an experience uh, if, if if information gets leaked to uh, people that maybe you should have yeah. known about this uh, two weeks later or something no i think uh, it was how does it feel how does it feel to have the information leak yeah no i mean we you know it the main thing was that we we wanted to be able to uh, to present to people uh, the whole vision for what we were trying to do and so you know we were in the process of discussing that and the language of it and and you know charting out a vision and then you know it gets picked up in the press and then you're just you know you, you're forced to kind of fast forward and say okay well we'll you know we'll put this statement out and you know give people a sense of what we're doing but no no it wasn't it, it, it. And